Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is January the 21st, 2021. And this is advice for the future. For anybody that's probably around a teenager, maybe in their mid or early 20s. And what they really should get out of life. Now life is kind of coming at you. I understand during this pandemic has probably changed a lot of your futures. And you're probably thinking what you should be doing. Um, I think the first advice I would have is make mistakes and experiment. Uh, let's say if you're a woodworker and you cut stuff on the uh, the right side of the board, maybe you switch it up and cut on the left side and see how that looks. I Man, I know that's oversimplification, but you need to make mistakes in order to uh, to learn from them and build upon them. Uh, the second piece of advice I would be is to acknowledge your mistakes, kind of like right now. This video that's on my my uh, screen right now is actually I recorded this video already, but I had the fire going on the sound, so all my voice wasn't being recorded. So it was just a fire that's in the loop with the advice in the future, and of course to today's date and the sound of the fire burning. Now that was a mistake, and I acknowledge that I made that mistake. And what did I do? I just moved forward. Uh, corrected the issue and acknowledge it that's a perfect example of making mistakes so this is really is take two hope you enjoy um, the next one is making sure that you're financially independent that means making sure that you're you're debt free or you have your debt under control that means uh, you're paying down your loans and you're paying down your debts uh, you're you're using credit cards responsibly which means that you could pay off your credit card at the end of the month uh, with your current role or current job that, that's that's a really important key key piece of advice that I wish I knew when I was that age because I got two credit cards and just use them as a personal bank and you know after a year or so uh, those companies wanted their money back you know I did spend a couple of years paying them off and during that period I did join the military which also helped with my finances because I had pretty much uh, free food, room, and board uh, while I was in the military because I was on base in the barracks. Um, so that actually did help pay down that debt. Now, of course, I'm debt, well, semi-debt free. I did purchase this land where this fire is taking place. So I do have debt, but I can manage it. I'm in a place where I'm making enough money where I could afford that, and I'm paying that off. Now, it was about an 80 grand loan that I took for this piece of property. Now I know in Texas, that's probably either probably low or high, especially if you go to outside the state of Texas where land is less valuable. I probably could have gotten a lot more for my, my bank, but I'm a Texan. What can I say? Um, I like Texas. I kind of like the, the, the culture. So, and I'm familiar with it, but that doesn't mean that the state that you're in is going to be the state that you're going to, live in so you might want to move around and see what state you want to live in and see if that, that's the culture you want because there's people that never leave their state um, luckily enough I am I grew up in Texas uh, my father side uh, grand or my grandparents were in Michigan so I was able to go to Michigan and actually kind of experience some of their culture and it just wasn't for me because mainly of the snow I while I do like snow, I just don't like living in snow. So yeah, the other day, other week where Austin got snow, it was very exciting. I I drove around a little bit watching other people make snowmen, and it was very enjoyable. I think part of the reason why it was enjoyable is because I knew it was going to be gone either the next day or a couple of days. And that's just acknowledging what I want out of life. The other thing is just just live your life. Go on adventures. Just kind of explore explore the world or explore the country or even explore your state. Get out of your city. So let's say, um, so I grew up in, in Austin. Now I've been to several other cities within Texas and actually stayed there for a reasonable amount of time. But I also went, like say I went to Michigan, kind of traveled there. I also been to Mexico, also been to Canada. Been to Germany a couple of times. And those were fun. And I also been to Iraq and Kuwait. But those were for my military deployment. So 
that was a different form of experience, experience as well. Now the, que the other question is, you're, you're in the age where you're going to go to, to college. I'd recommend that you don't go to college unless you're, the field that you're going to requires it. Because um, most people go into college end up not really using the degree. Um, like I said, if, if I were to do my education over, I probably would not go to the university or the college I went to, mainly because it was kind of expensive at the time. I should have went to the local community college, which would be ACC. And I would have paid a fraction of what it would cost me to go to this university. But that's all right. That, that is a uh, mistake I made, or not really a mistake. It's just something of, I learned down the road because my my career path so far, even though I've used that degree, I could have gotten it a cheaper deal. So that kind of goes back to um, kind of saving money. But let me know what you uh, think about this format. Uh, let me know what you think about the fire that's on the screen. And what advice would you give someone? But more importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.